other thing you can do is, hey, tell people that you care about them yeah. and that you love them. Yeah. It'll just make them feel like a king or a queen, and it'll make you feel so, so good. What is love, Jerry? What is love? That is such see, a loaded how long, question. How long do you have? <laughs> I mean, love can be a lot of things. Love can be elusive. It can be misunderstood. It can be the most wonderful feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. It's always, always interesting. It is though, that, it? for yeah. sure. But did you know that finding love and sustaining it can be done using science-based research? That's right. Don Masler wrote the book on it. It's called Men Chase, Women Choose, the Neuroscience of Meeting, Dating, Losing Your Mind, and Finding True Love. Welcome, Don. Thank you for having me. The losing your mind part, that's, that's supposed to be a good thing, right? That's what happens when you fall in love. Yes. When I started doing the research, it was really kind of crazy when I found out what happens. When you fall in love, actually parts of your brain deactivate. Mm. Really? For example, your ventral medial prefrontal cortex, that's the part of the brain that judges the other person, that deactivates. So, you know the saying that says love is blind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't really tell the other person, you only see the upside, mm. so that's why they you you only see the best in the person which is great for a while unfortunately it doesn't last forever the name of the book men chase women choose do women ever chase or should they chase they do chase but it's based on a biological principle that the sex with the higher investment is pursued by the sex with the less investment and if a woman does chase there, she could have ramifications because he, there's, he takes less risk so there are um, oh i see so women will take more risks if they're chasing yes exactly uh -huh. okay so th there's biological ramifications and one of the things that can happen is something i call the possum effect and if you see a predator chasing a possum what happens the possum falls over right and plays dead plays dead mm. why doesn't the predator eat him because it thinks it's dead there's a part of his brain that says something's not right here this is mm -hmm. too easy ah. and he backs off ah. interesting okay well, let's let's talk about the the reason behind writing a book like this why is it important for those who are either looking for love or those who are in love to know what the science is behind love well I started writing it because I had a lot of questions and people would have these anecdotal solutions and a lot of the dating books are like based on what somebody's grandmother did or mm -hmm. what happened mm -hmm. and I wanted to understand it from a biological point I wanted research so that I spent the last five years piecing together what happens when you fall in love and when you understand the science behind it now you can make choices based on the science not just on what somebody thinks or right. what people say who falls in love faster men or women it depends and it really depends on women will fall in love faster when sex comes in mm -hmm. and men will fall in love faster uh, when he thinks he's really won the grand prize ah okay mm. all right uh, different phases of love the four phases in, I call them uh, the first one is attraction which really has nothing to do with love but no. it's kind of a gatekeeper sure. to get to love the second one is dating and that's where you build up the neurotransmitters to fall in love mm -hmm. the third one is losing your mind is mm -hmm. where you fall in love <laughs> And then the fourth one is true love, because falling in love has a time period of about one to three years. Okay. And then if you stay in the relationship, and there's a, a big spike in divorces right about that time, mm -hmm. but if you stay in the relationship, you can move into two, true love, which is different. It feels different, but it's actually in some ways a lot better love. It's more nurturing, more healing. How do you get true love to last and yet keep that true love exciting and fresh that's a good question that's an excellent question because a lot of times as you're with somebody it kind of goes a little stale and one of the things that helps with passion is doing new and novel things together it increases your endorphin level and that's what ca creates the passion so if you're doing something different you haven't done before with your partner it really helps to increase that connection between the two now, do you mean in, in the bedroom, or do you mean just out in life? Anything. Activities, just Any anything new and novel. Exactly. Get out of your rut, your routine. Exactly. Go on the weekends, Do go camping if you've never done that. Just anything that's kind of new and novel that it makes it exciting in your mind mm. because it's you're, you're doing something new. I mean, it could be starting a book club. It could, you know, sure. not the most exciting thing, but 
but it could be for 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 some people. Exactly, sure. exactly. Don, are you participating in a festival of reading? Yes, on Saturday, mm -hmm. the Tampa Festival of Reading. I'll be there. I'll be doing a talk. I think it's about three o'clock. Okay. I'll be talking about this stuff. Good. Well, we'll getting a lot we'll of questions. Put all this on our website. Yeah, and you'll be getting a lot of questions about love, I'm sure. <laughs> Absolutely. The book right. again is called Men Chase, Women Choose. Don Mas Masler. Ma Masler. Yes. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> All right, Don. We'll be right back with more daytime right after this.